From Formula TV, Spain. How are you? Very good. Hi, how are you doing? Good. First of all, congrats for for the show. I've gone to the first nine episodes, and and it's great. I'm really liking it. Thank you. And from all these episodes, I can tell that Feng and Ulysses have this really, really complicated relationship, a really hard backstory. So how was it to explore that through so many different perspectives and and genres? Yeah, you know, I think um, it, it was. See, it's even complicated right now. It's so tense. <laughs> I do think, I gotta say, I do think there was some of our real life stuff, uh, not not the conflict part, but like having this, uh, having come up as actors in the same, uh, at, at sort of the similar time yeah. and uh, dealing with a lot of similar things. We had so much uh, to talk about, so much commonalities, um, so that it, it did feel brotherly and to be able to bring that in was, was fun and to develop it offset as well as on, uh, was, was, uh, was additive. Yeah. And in their particular mind movies, we get to see an epic romance and this kind of TikTok found footage. So what did you enjoy the most about those genres or, or those styles? It was love. It was, it was great because you really, it, you, you explore, um, for me, I get to explore more dramatic side to my character and and pushing myself as an actor to try to to try to get there to the right place. And then and also you have John Cho's and searching maybe the ultimate found footage movie ever, one of my favorite movies ever, and also giving me tips. There, there was a there was a little bit of of a metaverse there too as well. So that that was a lot of fun. How was it to jump not just between your mind movies and the the base style of, of the show, but also between all the other genres and, and styles to do a scene like you were in a Hitchcockian thriller and then jump to a Jane Austen or a rom-com. Yeah, it was, um, if you're a fan of movies, it was, as, as we are, it was really fun to uh, jump from one to the other, sometimes in the course of a day and you had modified, uh, you know, hair and costume. Um, it just seemed you know, we're working, and um, this this job seemed so much more playful as a result uh, than 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 what I'm accustomed to. When you think about all these genres, about the all these pieces of, of the puzzle, it might look like something really complex, but but when you see it on screen, it really works smoothly. It works really really well. Like it looks like it was like it is easy to to do when when it is not. So <laughs> yeah. what do you think that? makes the after party work so well I, I think it's christopher miller and anthony king and and oh lord i mean i think they are <clears throat> honestly they uh to quote christmas i mean i it's they're undeniable they're undeniable and they will do everything their utmost to tell the story the right way and and we just follow along that roadmap yeah to tell a story like this in this way requires um a level of planning and attention to detail that you know that's that's hard to come across it's just uh it's few and far between and then they had planned out everything and there's so many easter eggs throughout the series that you know um that are hard to keep track of but if you're if you're interested you can really find a lot within um so many of the frames um, but yeah it's just really meticulously meticulously planned you know just how things are photographed even uh, i gotta give it up to uh you know the yes. camera department and, and how things were planned and shot um so that every frame looks different it's it's, it's quite extraordinary it was the same camera crew that did all the genres so yeah so to have i mean not enough credit goes to them to just really pivot and adapt sometimes on the same day incredible okay, thank you so much guys and congrats again for for your work because it's amazing and have a really nice day. Thank, Thank you. you. You too.